in the position. Well, earlier this week, we told you how more and more people are spending their summers camping, including right here at Fort Stevenson. Yes, we have seen some of them. Yep. Caressa Stinchcomb joins us to tell us how state parks are getting an upgrade to find out just how many people are visiting. Hi, Caressa. Becky and Brooke, state parks have actually always had traffic counters. In the past, they were a sensor in the road that cars drove over that counted how many cars. But now the new system has a camera posted at the entrance that reads the license plates. It'll give more detailed information like how long they were in the park, where they're from, and if they've been to another state park. We can see if you visit Fort Stevenson in Memorial Day weekend, but later in June you stopped at Graham's Island State Park and maybe you traveled to Lake Metagoshi with that vehicle, of course. Troutman says he's hoping to get the data from Memorial Day weekend sometime next week. Brooke and Becky, back to you.